All right. Well, let's let's uh, move on and talk about what happened to Harry in Dallas. Uh, what I think last week or something. Um, basically, he ordered a lift ride, and the driver came and had a little passenger sitting in the front seat, their child. Now, Harry didn't make any mention of you know a- anything with it. Uh, he doesn't want to get that person in trouble or anything. But the question I want to know is. What would you do? First off, if you're a driver and you have kids, what would you be doing if in the event that you had that? Secondly, if you were a passenger and you saw a kid in the car, what would your thoughts be? Uh, So I'll start with this. I think, you know, if it comes to to food delivery, if it comes to package delivery, you got that second person in the car and and it's okay, then fine, so be it. Uh, If you have to bring your child along for some reason because you need to make ends meet and whatnot, turn on one of those apps and don't turn on rideshare because you don't know if four people are going to get in your car and they need that seat. Um, the ride could take up to four people. So that's something to keep in mind. Secondly, um, the insurance doesn't qual- cover you. So if anything happens, uh, they're going to find a way not to pay for it. Uh, there's a lot of issues there. Um, and then, you know, if you got a small child or something that's sitting in the front seat, that also can be illegal uh, on things. So I mean, I don't know this person, this driver's background or backstory or anything like that. I'm assuming it's because the, the, you know, something happened with a kid can't watch or whatnot has to go out and make extra money. And, you know, it's hard to come by with everything going on, whether it's inflation, oversaturation, the like. Um, But yeah, that's something where you got to be smarter out there. If if I was a pastor that came on, I would be like, um, okay, I don't know what this is all about, but uh uh, I mean, if it was just me, sure. If it was other people with me, then that might turn into a little bit of a problem. Uh, but I want to know, what do you think? I wouldn't, I'm, uh, I, you know, I mean, look, you can turn the app off anytime you want. And obviously, if it was, I don't know the super particulars, obviously, plus Harry didn't know it either, right? So, mm-hmm. I mean, if it's a super emergency, I wouldn't do it. Okay, number one, I wouldn't have a child in the front seat um, taking a ride with the passenger. Um, I, I do, without knowing the full circumstances, I don't know. Um, but I would not look, it would not look right to me as a passenger if there was a child sleeping in the front seat of the car that I'm paying for. That's, without being too harsh, that's what I think it is. So, um, you know, I mean, I understand maybe she couldn't or he or she couldn't find babysitting or daycare or whatever. Um, but that's why that's why you can turn the app off and go offline. And, yep. you know, it's a tough situation. I mean, you, you may try to make money, but at the same time, look, Harry, I'm sure was understanding, right? How many people are going to be understanding enough not to report this to Uber or Lyft, right? And they will deactivate you. I mean, there is no and buts about it. It's clear in the terms of service. If you order anything but a shared ride, these are terms of service. They're not my rules. It clearly says nobody else can be in the car. Like you cannot have your wife in the car, take a ride or take your daughter to school on your way to school, pick somebody up and do it. You just can't do it. That's the terms of service. And you're breaking the terms of service, but without knowing anything, um, you know, I wouldn't be happy if I was the passenger, you know. And would I do it as a driver? No, I would not. Yep. Yeah. I, and like I say, if, if you have to, I, I understand people are out there hurting, you know, maybe they're, they're trying to make money to pay the electric bill to keep the, 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 the heat and the electricity on who knows. I mean, I, I could speculate all day. Um, yeah. but when it comes down to it, if you have to drive with, you know, another person in the car, turn on an app that would allow it or where it's not going to be such a problem where you could do food delivery or you could do, you know, last mile delivery, something like that where you can have another person, Instacart. It doesn't really matter at that point. Um, There's a lot of different apps that you could potentially do still to make money in the event that happens. So if you have a plan in place, um, that's just going to be better because, yeah, you're putting your livelihood on the line if somebody does report you. All right, thanks for watching. That short little clip was from our live stream, Show Me the Money Club with Sergio and myself. Tuesdays, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific. Make sure you subscribe, turn on all notifications so you'll be notified when we go live, as well as all of our awesome content. Make sure to check out this video right here, which will take you to the entire live stream, or check out this video right there. All right, drive smart, everyone.